Welcome to the instructional part of the video. You can get tabs and backing tracks if you go to my website, www.erichaugenguitar.com. Let me talk about the cool stuff I'm using today. This is my trusty, beloved 1966 Fender Mustang with Tom Brantley pickups. I'm using the neck pickup. And then I'm going into my pedal board using my Strymon Deco and my Strymon Flint for some crunch and reverb, respectively. And I am playing through a Silvertone 1484 amp mic'd up with a Rode NTR Active Ribbon mic. That's what you're hearing. Now let's learn stuff. Okay, so the song is pretty cool. It's got a nice kind of dreamy chord structure. It's a D. A lot of times I won't bother with this high note on the D. So in this scenario, I'm just doing starting on the A string, zero, zero, two, three. Melody. There it is. So I'm coming off the top. Three, three, two, oh, two. I'm already there. Then I'm going to, on that G string, slide from four up to six. Wait a little bit, and now this, this chord structure is F sharp minor. So that's why I'm landing on that six of the G, and then I sneak my pointer finger back to get four and four on the A and the D. And I just happen to know that it sounds boss if you let the B and the E ring out against that. Very new wave Andy Summers kind of thing to do kind of do it every time there's an F-sharp minor chord. Then I do a little pentatonic minor fill. Yeah, that's because I like pentatonic minor and slidey bits, so I'm thinking of that structure. You know, that's flat out double stops. F two, two, four, four on that A and the D. And then two, two on the D and the G sliding forward into four, four. So yeah, and then I get only that last four there because it's coming back around. Now this time, just to be different, uh, you know, I'm just playing around with my structures, my caged structures. I'm thinking of this beautiful F sharp minor, which is what you would consider the C-shaped F sharp minor. I got my pinky on the nine of the A, uh, seven, and then six. Again, I can let those top skinny two strings open. Mmm, delicious. And then, I'm using one of my old tricks that I picked up from my buddy James Wallace, the idea of throwing triads at other triads. I have a video about this. I'm thinking of this F-sharp minor bar chord at the ninth fret, but then going back and forth and throwing E's against it. So there I was on 11, 11, you know, starting on the D, 11, 11, 10, flat out at the nines. That's the, that's really part of this E chord. That's an F sharp minor again, because it's that one, but there's the third. So 12 on the A, 11. Works out. Luckily for us, the song moves to E. And I kind of, I don't know why, I was thinking sixes and open strings and Bill Frizzell and stuff like that for this next bit. So I'm on this E here, but then for some reason I was like, eh, let me go all the way down here to get that kind of weird kind of harp-like effect. So I'm coming from this 11, 9, 9 on the A back to, to 6 on the D, leave no, nobody on the G and then five on that ha, B. Back it up to three. Pinky comes out, gets the four on the G, and then that open B, yeah. So you get those weird kind of things. And then the song hits a B minor. That to me is Hendrixian. So I'm getting, you know, here's a B minor, seventh fret. So I'm at, on the D string, uh, 9 and then 7. Thumb gets that low 7, slide it forward and back. Walk it up, 7, 9, 10, because the next chord's a D. And then 
now I'm taking this melody and harmonizing it with a sixth below. Tasty. So that's 10 up there. Leave a gap. You know, nobody on the B. Uh, 11 on the G. Leave that same gap. 9 and 9. 7 and 7. 5 and 6. If you follow my videos, you know I love these things. And then, to get that last bit, because it had to get that note up top, that slide from 8 to 9 on that high E, I harmonize it as a fifth. Because that actually ends up it's a little it's out of tune. Makes that 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 chord there, that nine uh, or seven and nine. And then since I'm on an F sharp minor I snap to that that one down there, that there's that structure. I'm thinking of my pentatonic minor shape. Two on the high E. Yeah, that's a classic blues lick. And then I'm jumping over to G string, fourth fret. That's, yeah, again, Hendrixy. And then this little bit, two, four on that A string, flat out on the two and two of the D and the G and back to that four. So that kind of gets us through the verse structure and then I jump actually over to the bridge of the song just to cover all the parts. It's an E chord and here we go again back with this thing, thing. that little six and five action. Again, so six on the D, nobody home on the G and then five on that B. With that slide back to three, pinky on the four of the G, open on that B. And then this time, though, it goes a D, that same D from the beginning. Sneak your pinky onto the fourth fret of the A string. Boom, F sharp minor chord. And then there's a little kind of walk up. This is very um, Frizzell. I was happy with that lick. So it's just my way of going to do that <laughs> in a kind of more harp-like way. Seven, or sorry, nine on that A, slide it forward, keep it clean, because you're going to need your pointer finger on the seven of the D, and then an open B string. And then you're lucky because the chord's an E next, boom, so it can go back around. Here it comes again. <laughs> if I can get it right now. three times and the last time it's gonna go to a different place and that time I just did a more normal walk up on that low E two four open on the A because then we're at a, a B power chord seven nine nine little, there's that little Jason Isbell vocal melody uh, nine nine six on the G and notice yeah I Walk that nine on that D back to a seven. Yep, and then there I am at the power chord, then my pinky's gonna get that 11. And then a D power chord, that's 10 and 12. And this is neat. That's just a D chord inversion. That's like the equivalent of doing that, but up an octave, so I'm not 14, zero, zero. And then, then I'm free to do all the fills I want was the idea. So again, the song loops back around to the verse structure, which is a D, so I'm Hendrix fill right there. Because that's out of this D shape. I got a, starting on the G string, 9, 10, hammer on to 11 there. Pinky comes around, gets that 12. There's that F sharp minor shape. It's all about following the shapes around the fretboard. 
And then if I'm on that, I'm thinking pentatonic minor. That's what I'm thinking. So walking down from the fifth of the chord, which is that 11, 9, 7, 7, or 7. And then, I don't know why I came up with this idea. That is a D major 7, you know, if we're thinking this shape now, because it came back around to D. O, 6, 7, 5. I knew I could do that because the, the whole song is a D major 7. So I was like, hmm, what if I thought like a piano player and just harmonized the whole scale? Which is what I did, yeah. So I took that note and then moved everybody a note further forward, which actually makes like an E7 against that D. And then that makes an A against it. So that is, yep, 6, 7, 5, 7, 9, 7, 10, oh, sorry, 9, 10, 9. 12, 12, yeah. Yep. And that's back to that F sharp minor. A more normal F sharp minor kind of fill. So yeah, I landed on that 9 and 10 there. And then I did one of these. I do these all the time. 12. Pre-bend that 12 on the B a little bit. 10. Landing on that 11, again, out of that shape. And that's still out of that pentatonic minor for that F sharp minor. That is 9, oh, yep, 9, 11, 9, 11. Then what, oh, then I did this kind of falling down waterfall thing. Was it? Which is all just really just playing around with, at this point, just F sharp minor pentatonic. 10, 10, 7, 7, 5, 5, change strings. Uh, what is that? 7, 6, 5, 4. And then I go back up because I knew that the song just clicked over to F sharp minor, so I'm back up to that 7, 6, 5, 4, 2, 2. Four, four, two, two. Yeah, so that whole thing. There's a D shape there. Mm, I love this D shape. And I purposely left that B string open because I like to leave strings open. <laughs> I love that sound. I cannot hide my love for that sound. So five, four, you know, starting on that A string, five, four, two, O, oh, F sharp minor. There he is. And if I remember correctly, I do some kind of little walk out of it that's usually in this low region. Um, two, four, on the A string, two, four, two, O, oh, two, O, oh, D. I think that covers it. Well, this one started out as another one of my, oh, let's see what pentatonic fills I can put on this song, but it kind of skewed a little into like a Frizzellian, Bill Frizzellian kind of open string thing. Uh, so there's, there's both of those ideas floating across these chord changes. I'm quite happy with how it came out. I hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching.